Hey guys, I just got back from a super fun four and a half week solo trip. I visited many cool places and um, yeah, I literally just got picked up from the airport. So I started in the United Kingdom, I went through England and Scotland and then I flew to the Netherlands and um, you know, I saw some really cool cities in the Netherlands and then I flew on back to my home state. I was staying in hostels, met amazing people. When I was preparing for my trip, I found a video by Unjude Jade, Jade um, like this, very helpful where she just Talk, like as soon as she got back from her trip she just explained everything she brought you know very authentically and I thought it'd be really fun to do a video like this as well so this was my baby this trip yeah so for the four weeks of my trip this was the only bag I traveled with which by the way another great resource if you're looking for advice for doing a backpacking trip the one bag subreddit so yeah so first off <laughs> we have this um, this bag. I originally brought a, a plastic bag, plastic Walmart bag for my dirty laundry, and that was practically torn to shreds by the end. By the time I got to Amsterdam, it was not working very well, so I ended up turning this bag into my laundry bag. This is a packing cube. This packing cube was what I used for like underwear, bras, swimsuits, things like that. And then um, this is my other packing cube. It was double-sided and I usually put basically everything else in there. This was the most useful thing I brought by far. It's this completely ratty tote bag now, but oh my god, it was, it was so smart because whenever, I'm so glad I brought it because whenever I wanted to uh, just go for a stroll around the city I was in or if I had um, to dump all my laundry in a bag because my other bag was overflowing, which didn't really become a problem when I got my lovely gray tote bag, but with my plastic bag, it wasn't working. So this was great for just carrying laundry to the washing machines and whatnot. And just for walking around and then also for sneaking past the gate agents on the personal item rule about only bringing one bag. Cause it just looks like I had like a fun little tote bag. It wasn't like an actual backpack. It was just my fun little tote bag um, that I happened to shove like a bunch of stuff in. Cause sometimes, well, I was able to usually fit everything in this pink bag when I was traveling from place to place. There were some times where I just, it was so hard to shove everything in there. So it was great to have a, an extra bag. So this was my toiletries liquid bag um, that was a quart size, TSA approved. Um, yeah, so let me show you what I had for toiletries. And this was so great because I was really worried that I was gonna have to buy more stuff over there, but all my mini travel bottles worked perfectly. I got sunscreen, um, body wash, more body wash. So then this was my shampoo and conditioner I brought and got toothpaste, uh, face wash, contact solution. I'm glad I brought extra contact solution because at the very end of my trip, I did run out of my other bottle I had. So contact case, deodorant. Okay, that was it. And this bag was so great. Um, it, I think it is a little bit bigger than a quart, but um, I never had any issues with it in any of the security lines I went through. And it fit everything I needed, so it was great. Um, this was my other like bathroom bag. So in here I have a toothbrush, a claw clip, I have a headband, razor, I have a, a menstrual cup, and then like a reusable period pad. Nail clippers, <laughs> which were actually useful. Hair tie. Uh, oh, I have lots of band-aids and flossers. So there we go. But also in this bag, I have my laptop and I really, really wish I did not have to bring my laptop, but unfortunately I am a college student and I'm enrolled in two classes right now. Um, another thing I brought was a journal. This was great. I loved getting the chance to, you know, just have the opportunity to write about whenever I wanted, basically. So that was awesome. A book, we have Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. Um, gonna be honest, I did not read this much. I did read this a bit on a uh, flight or maybe when I was sitting outside or something, but sometimes when you're traveling and you're just, you have so many things you wanna do and so many people to talk to, you really don't have as much time to read. And I didn't, I didn't have as much time to read as I thought I would, but still, I'm so glad I brought it because it was fun to, you know, romanticize my life a bit and read my classic novel. This was my little fanny pack where um, I kept all my most valuable items. So we got all my credit cards, 
uh, my student ID, which is awesome because there were, um, I think at least one time where I got a student discount for being a college student. I had a lot of extra keys in case I felt uncomfortable at night and I could just like have a key, hold a key or something to defend myself, I don't know. Oh, um, I have my lock that I used for uh, lockers at the hostels. I also have my AirPods. Oh. Vas uh, Aquaphor. I usually use Vaseline, but I happen to have this mini tube Aquaphor. And this lasted me the whole trip, so it was great. Oh yeah, these were... I didn't bring these, but these were some headphones I, or earbuds that I bought on um, my flight back to the US because... Um, holy moly, I was having a terrible flight and I really needed to watch something to distract myself. Yeah, so I bought these and they were really overpriced and, um, but they, my, I needed to buy them because I didn't have any wire headphones or earbuds, so, yeah. Oh, uh, this was nice. This was my little fake wallet where I put, um, basically, let me check what's in here. Uh, oh, just, I have American dollars, but I wasn't using that, obviously. Um, <laughs> I also have, this is where I kept my British pounds. I never got any euros, even though I was in, um, the EU for a bit, but... I only <laughs> I only had um, British pounds in cash, and then I just have some old expired or need like stuff that I don't or useless cards and stuff. So I like this because there this never happened, but it just gave me peace of mind in case um, I did feel like unsafe at night or something like that. I could you know have this fake wallet, and if somebody threatened me, I could be like, oh here's my here's my wallet. You can take it, but it didn't happen. But I'll still bring it next time. Oh, I have my passport. That was great. Oh, I have lots of pens and ut just writing utensils, um, which is great for writing. And also there was, I think at least one time where someone asked me for a pen, so I was happy to oblige. Uh, I have a flashlight. This was this was actually really great for being in hostel dorms, um, especially at night, because I didn't want to turn on the big um, overhead lights if I was coming in late or something, so I could just use my little flashlight. This was another amazing, um, decision to bring so it was these earbuds but these were really overpriced on amazon but they're like these they're supposed to be like noise canceling and they have these loop things that i guess make them noise canceling i don't think they worked much better than normal earbuds but they still did work very well to drown out the snoring uh, especially because um i think by the second hostel i was at i had already you know not been able to book a female dorm and man do men snore really really loud um there's always one so this was really helpful also in here i just have uh more hair ties so that was it for my fun little valuable fanny pack i got a few more things in here to go over before i'll go to close this is the pocket where i kept all my uh cords and chargers this is a british adapter this is my normal us core another my laptop charger this was a eu adapter and this was a, another British one. Yeah, I, of course I used all of those. Here, this pocket, got lots of snacks. It's just like nuts, got granola bars and trail mix or something. I, I would love to do a different video about just things that I'm so glad I brought or things that I wish I had brought. But let me just say, something that would have been helpful for sure would have been um, some sort of food storage. I would say Tupperware, but I really don't think I would have been able to smash the Tupperware down in my bag. But I'm really happy that, um, you know, the places I was in didn't offer plastic bags because I know they're so bad for the environment. But man, while I was um, about to go on my hiking trip, I really, really wish I had some sort of just really, you know, like some sort of food storage bag that would just smash down. So basically a plastic bag or something. And of course they weren't being sold because from, from what I understand a lot of countries in the EU or countries that used to be in the EU don't sell these um, single-use plastic bags because they're horrible for the environment, of course. But I really needed some sort of food storage. They had so much stuff that was like falling apart. And I found these um, silicone reusable bags while I was in Scotland. Even though I don't like plastic bags, I wish I had had some or at least had more room for Tupperware or something because, man, did I need to store my food. That was another big thing was that I wasn't really able, I did grocery shop a lot, but I wasn't able to um, grocery shop, you know, for a week at a time or something because I just had no space and no storage to store food. So I have got my glasses and glasses case and then I have this comb for um, when my hair's wet. Okay. And then finally, this will bring us to my section where I'll talk about what clothes I brought because this is my last pocket in here. My bag is now empty. 
and I brought these shoes. So I only brought two pairs of shoes. I have these Vans, which were amazing. I hiked multiple mountains in these, and then I had my nice little um, flat slippers. And yeah, these were great. I actually really, I'm really glad I brought these because um, they were good if I wanted to go out to a bar or something and I wanted a little bit of a nicer outfit. The stuff I'm wearing, I brought, um, the only jewelry I brought was this necklace and then these earrings. And that was great because I could always just throw these on when I was traveling so I didn't have to worry about them getting tangled up or lost or anything. And then I have this sweater, I have leggings, and then the van, socks, you know, you get it. So let's actually go on to the other clothes. I have this jacket, which um, I usually wore um, when I was traveling from place to place just because it it's not bulky or anything, but... Um, you know, it's just nice to throw on as many layers as possible to not have to carry so much stuff on my back. In here I have dryer sheets. Wish I had brought some disposable laundry chips for soap or something because having to buy the dollar laundry detergent pods every time I wanted to do my laundry <laughs> probably was not very economical. So yeah, I have dryer sheets. And then also a microfiber towel, which dries really quick and was great. Two sports bras. We got this one, this one. Um, we have a swimsuit. We have a mask. I didn't use this once um, because I never went anywhere that had any mask requirements or even recommendations. So, yeah, things have definitely changed a lot in the past three years. Some black tights. Um, I actually used these a lot more than I thought I would, and they made such a nice addition to an outfit, especially if I wanted to go somewhere a bit nicer or just wanted to, you know, kind of dress up for the day. So yeah, I'm actually glad I brought those. Um, tube top. Um, I have this very kind of dirty t-shirt now. <laughs> this is great for sleeping. These packing cubes were great. I got them at Walmart. We have, I have this nice, um, I think it's called a cowl neck top or something. I actually hate this top, so I wish I hadn't brought it. Once again, I love to do an expansion on things I wish I hadn't brought or things I wish I had brought. Just to say, I wish I had not brought things that I knew I didn't like, because I already knew before this trip I really don't like this top because it just fits so weird on me. But yeah, I wish I hadn't brought this because I hated wearing it and I never wore it because of that. <laughs> Another thing I wish I hadn't brought is just this nice romper, basically. I never went anywhere that was um, too nice to wear jeans, so <laughs> this was a waste of space. Probably another waste of space, honestly. Um, it's this maxi, um, actually I love this skirt, but I really just didn't wear it very much because it was so windy. And then I always wanted to be on the go and I was walking so much and always just running around with my friends and stuff. So yeah, this was probably not the best idea. I've got um, another jacket. I think I had the perfect amount of layers because there were some chilly days, but with this jacket and this jacket, I was good to go, so. All right, this was just a black tank. We have another black tank. This one was actually great for going out, I mean, out to a nicer place because it was just v-neck and it, I don't know, it just, this this top was actually pretty nice. It wasn't as sporty as the other one. Um, yeah, I just had this brown t-shirt. I'm glad I had um, cozy clothes as well as nicer clothes. Um, black jean skirt. This was great for just dressing up a little bit, especially because Whenever I would dress up, we were still going to like a semi-casual place. Like if we were going to a bar or something, um, but like it was still like you could wear jeans and a nice top. Like this was pretty great for that, so. Oh, I am so glad I brought these. These were the most comfortable pants ever, and I think they really give off summery, fun, hostile vibes. These were super comfortable, and honestly, I did wear these as pajamas sometimes as well. So, there we go. <laughs> and speaking of pajamas, here were the pajama pants that I brought. These are super comfortable, fuzzy, amazing. So the last pair of pants I brought were these um, jeans. These were great because I could re-wear re these a lot because they're, you know, they're jeans, they're durable. So I could get a few uses out of these and yeah, they were awesome. So finally for clothes, I'm just gonna talk about, you know, quantities of socks and underwear I brought because Honestly, I wish that someone had just been like, this is how many you need to bring because that would've been great. Okay, so I brought 10 pairs of underwear. Besides my two sports bras, I also just had like this one bra. For socks, I had this pair of um, like no-show socks. This was great for my little black shoes. 
Um, and then I had four pairs of normal socks, but one of them got a hole in it from hiking. So honestly, I wish I would have brought more socks because I don't think I had enough. But yeah, that's it for clothes. And that's pretty much it for everything I brought total. So basically what I brought was my laptop, clothes, some toiletries, and then my book, my journal, and then my most important valuables. And that was pretty much it. So if you are a new traveler who is looking to go on a backpacking trip, um, I hope that this, can, that this video was helpful to you. And if you would like me to do any videos just about solo female travel or just solo travel in general or, or anything like that, I'd be happy to do that. For the most part, with a couple of exceptions, I'm pretty happy with what I brought. Can't wait to keep one bag in it and hope that you can get some inspiration to do the same. So, um, that's it. Okay, bye! <laughs>